Well, despite the conditions, as a key re representative of the United Nations on the ground in Abaco today, UN Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez viewed the hurricane hit island of Abaco, which was severely damaged with a significant death toll. Since the storm passed, members of the United Nations Humanitarian Relief Organization have been assisting displaced residents with necessities such as food and water. The UN chief arrived in the Bahamas yesterday and attended a private meeting with the Prime Minister, the Most Honorable Dr. Hubert minutes at his office. The UN executive explained how the international community must continue to monitor the impact of climate change. The best available science is, as reported by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, says we must ensure collectively that global temperature rise does not go beyond 1.5 degrees. And it says that we have a window of less than 11 years to avoid irreversible climate disruption and that we must reduce emissions by 45% by 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. And this is why I'm asking all leaders to come to the climate summit with plans, not speeches, in New York in one week's time. Well, the United Nations chief also dispelled the myth that the middle-income countries, like some Caribbean states, should not have access to concessional funding when it comes to natural disasters. If you have external shocks with an impact as dramatic as the ones I've seen in Dominica just uh, two years ago or today in meaningful parts of uh, the Bahamas, the fact that you are a middle-income country doesn't allow you to solve the problem alone. And so when you have external shocks of this dimension, it is absolutely essential to create an international consensus that concessional financing need to be put at the disposal of countries for the reconstruction and for the capacity to do that reconstruction, increasing the resilience of the societies, of the communities and of the countries to future disasters that inevitably will come.